Good Monday evening, Southeast Texas. Rain chances are on the increase, but oh my, as you can see over the next uh, five days, dew points are going to be in the 70s, and that means we're using air conditioning, quite muggy. All right, so we're in the four corners. This is the reason that we're seeing the increase in moisture across our area, upper level low pressure there, and that is drawing moisture in off the Gulf of Mexico into our area. This low is not going to move directly over us. In fact, it's going to move off to the north and east, but it's going to be lobbing disturbances our way, so that may enhance rain chances as we head through the next three to four days. As you see, that disturbance moves through. Wednesday, I think, is going to have our best chances of rain and thunderstorm activity, and then uh, we're going to watch what this does that uh, replaces it. Another trough of low pressure, low moves into New northern New Mexico, and that, again, may also move off to the north and east. So we've got tons of moisture streaming in off the Gulf of Mexico Friday. And as you can see, it just does not go anywhere through the next several days. So it means any fronts that come our way are going to be weak. We may see one try to move in coming up late Sunday into Monday, but I'm not real impressed with it. Oh, my. Very active in the tropics. But the good news is nothing expected over the next five to seven days in the Gulf of Mexico. I think we're good. Sam is still a formidable Cat 3 major hurricane, but it's going to miss, it looks like, Bermuda and not coming to the Gulf of Mexico. This is the remnants of Peter. You can see that in orange. Moderate chance this will re-intensify, but it's outbound, so we're not real concerned about those two. You can write them off and forget about them. Then we've got two areas of disturbed weather in the central eastern Atlantic and one that's just come off the uh, east or the west coast of Africa. Both of them have a moderate chance over the next 48 hours and a high risk over the next uh, five days of becoming a depression or named storm. Invest 91L, this is the modeling, shows the potential for this to recur. So that's good for us, I think. This lead system, though, in the central Atlantic, it is just way too early. And there's the hope that it just dissipates. And that's the potential, looking at some of the modeling. So we're going to be on a watch and wait and monitor mode. Otherwise, I think we're good over the next five to seven days. Tonight looks like a quiet evening across southeast Texas. The skies become mostly cloudy. It's going to be warm and humid. Just not looking forward to this. Regardless, by late in the morning, or late, I should say, prior to sunrise, prior to daybreak, we ought to see a scattering of showers, maybe a few thunderstorms in the triangle, lesser amounts up in the lakes area. So it could be a wet morning in the triangle if this pans out as far as the timing is correct. But you can see pretty good coverage. Then that activity will likely move towards the uh, lakes area as the day progresses. So I don't expect an all-day event, but a pretty good coverage. We'll go with a 40 to 50, maybe 60% coverage tomorrow as high temperatures reach the lower and middle 80s. On the Gulf of Mexico, slightly choppy seas around 1 to 2 feet in your coastal marine forecast with a south wind at 5 to 10 knots. Our forecast tonight, after about 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, we could see about a 40% coverage in the triangle, 20% coverage in the lakes area as winds go calm. We'll see low temperatures quite a bit above normal in the lower 70s. Then for tomorrow, about a 50, maybe 60% coverage. Yeah, I'm hedging. High temperatures will be in the mid-80s with a southeast wind to 2 to 7. So a yellow bar day tomorrow. I have a good confidence that we're going to see a pretty good coverage on Wednesday. The hard part of the forecast I'm not real clear about is Thursday. If that upper low is already in the northern plains, we may not get that 70% coverage. There's going to be a lot of moisture and instability over the area, so we may see lower chances. So that's the hard part of the forecast is Thursday. I'm not, just, I'm not real clear on that. But for now, modeling is very wet on uh, Wednesday and Thursday. I'm hesitant to go against the modeling, but it's the potential that it could be drier. Then Friday it looks like about a 30 to 40 percent coverage just due to daytime heating and pretty normal stuff. Uh, Saturday, 20 percent coverage, maybe a little bit of ridging in the mid-levels. And then on Sunday, we may have a weak cold front attempt to move into the area that could dry us out a little bit as we head towards Sunday, and, Sunday night into Monday but there's quite a bit of uncertainty on that. Hey, download our app, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and as always, there's more weather at 12newsnow.com weather. Hope you and your family have a wonderful Monday evening.